Who is the angel of death? Well, for some, you might be surprised. Who actually is the angel of death? The death angel. Some might have different names for them in different folklore. Is it the Grim Reaper? Is it Azazel? Who is it? Well, the Bible doesn't actually use the term death angel or angel of death. The question is, is there an angel whose sole job or angels whose sole job is to kill, who is to bring about death? Well, there's where we have an issue here. Let's go to the scriptures and let's see. Now, some might say, yes, there are angels whose job is to do so. And some might point to Revelation 6, where it says, and look, I behold a pale horse and its rider was named Death and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and famine and with pestilence and by wild beasts of the earth. The question is, is he referring to an actual angel? Now, for the sake of the argument, let's go ahead and assume that it is an angel. Well, that doesn't mean that there is an actual death angel. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Also, if we go to 2 Kings 19.35, it says it happened that at night that an angel of the Lord went out and struck 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. And so here we see an angel that goes out and kills 185,000. But does that mean that there is an angel or angels whose responsibility is to kill? Well, the answer is going to be no. Even still, some might point to what about Satan? Satan in Job, the Bible tells us that he inquires about Job and the Lord says that he is able to touch him. But what does he say? You can touch all that he has, but you cannot touch him. And so apparently it's that God can give authority to whomever he wants to, to kill or to maim or to take away certain possessions and so forth. But th that doesn't mean that the angel or that there is an angel whose job responsibility is to kill. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. Remember, angels, as we find in Hebrews 1.14, they are ministering spirits sent to render out service for the sake of those who will inherit salvation. They are ministering spirits for the good or for the bad. They do not do on their own. They are simply spirits that serve. Now, the question is, who determines who lives, who dies? Well, this is how we can know who the deaf angel is if you want to use that. Is there someone who is in charge of death. Well, the only person that has that ability is the Lord. The Bible says in Job 14, 6, it says, since his days are determined, the numbers of his month is with you and his limits you have set so that he cannot pass. Now, this is one of the men in Job who are speaking a truth. This is that God has determined the length of days for every man. And understand this, the Bible says it is the Lord Samuel says in 1 Samuel uh, 2, 6, the Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to Sheol and he raises up. The only person that has the ability to kill and to give life, it is the Lord. Well, who is the Lord? Well, good question. In Deuteronomy 32, 39, he says, see now that I, I am he, and there is no God beside me. It is I who put to death and give life. I have wounded and it is I who heal. There is no one who can deliver from my hand. Now, a couple of things is interesting about this passage and notice who we know who the Lord is. Go back to it. He says, see that I, I am he. And the word that's used here is highlighted in the Hebrew is anihu. This word, if we look in the Greek Septuagint, is the same word that we get the word ego ma in Greek, which is obviously ascribed to who? To Jesus. It's the same word that's used uh, that we find in when God is, is describing to Moses who he is, this word anihu clearly has been used to reference Jesus, who is the Lord. He says, and besides me, there is no God. Well, obviously, now we kind of get an understanding of who we're speaking of. It is I who put to death and give life. And then notice what he says. He also invokes something that Jesus says in John 10, 28. He says that, uh, and there is none who can deliver from my hand, which is what Jesus says at the end, the third clause of John 10, 28. So who is the death angel? Well, the very same person that gives life is the very same one that gives death. He is God. He is the Lord. And so there is no specific angel that is tasked with doing such, though God can give any angel or anyone the ability to do so. However, ultimately it is God. And so the one that gives life, is the one that takes life. Because could you imagine if there was an actual demon that could do so, 
or an angel that could do so. No, life and death are in the power of God's hands and God alone. It is he who gives life. It is he that takes life according to the scriptures. Amen. Amen.